children. Today we are learning to write the numbers down. Ready? One. Hmm. What does this number look like? For example, a straw. And how do you write it down? Use your finger to follow Pops' path. Let's go. We're going diagonally up and now straight down. All right, you got it. Number one. One unit, one straw. Two. What does this shape remind you of? Of course, a duck. One and two ducklings. Shall we learn to write it down? Remember to follow the path marked by Pops. We start with the rainbow shape, go down diagonally, and now a straight line to the right. Great! See how easy it is? Number two, two units. One and two ducklings. Three. Hmm, do you know what I see here? A butterfly. One, two, and three butterflies. Shall we learn how to write it down? Follow Pops. We make half a circle, and now another one exactly like it. You got it. Number three. Three units. One, two, and three butterflies. Four. Do you know what it looks like? A cactus, right? One, two, three, and four cacti. Shall we write it down? This time it's a little harder, but you can do it. We go down in a straight line. Now we continue to the right and look. Lift the pencil and move it over here. And now we make the line down. That's it. Number four. Four units. One, two, three, and four cacti. Five. My favorite number. I see a snake. Do you? One, two, three, four, and five snakes. Shall we learn to write it down? Remember to follow Pops. This time we start on the right side. Move to the left, now down, and half a circle. That's it. Number five. Five units. One, two, three, four, and five snakes. What does this shape remind you of? A whistle! One, two, three, four, five, and six whistles. Now, let's learn to write it down. We start at the right again, and now we make a big curve. And then, we close it with a little circle. Great! Number six. Six units. One, two, three, four, Five and six whistles. Seven. Hmm, let's see. What does it look like? It's a toucan. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven toucans. Beautiful. Shall we learn how to write it down? Help us, Pops. It's quite simple. We make a straight line to the right. And now, diagonally down. Number seven. Seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven toucans. Eight. Do you know what it reminds me of? A snowman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight snowmen. And how do you write it down? It seems difficult, but it's the most fun. We make a curve and now a little bigger one in the other direction. It closes the big circle and now the other one. Very good. The number eight, eight units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight snowmen. Do you know what I see? A bubble wand with a big bubble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine bubble wands. 
Shall we learn how to write the number nine? We make a circle and now a stick down. All right. The number nine, nine units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine bubble wands. And finally, ten. What does that remind you of? For example, a drum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten drums. Shall we learn to write it down? It's very simple. Follow Pops. First, we have to make a one. Remember? That's it. And now, the zero, which is an oval circle. See how easy it is? The number 10. 10 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 drums. That's good. Now all you have to do is practice a little. Right, kids? Mm, what's this number? 3? I can hear you. 3. That's it. And this one? Five! Again, louder! Five, that's it! Shall we go over it again? Play this video as many times as you need and try it now with paper and pencil. Let's see how well you do! See you next time! Hi, Groovy! What are you up to? Oh, are you painting a landscape? So fun! Oh, how professional! Measuring the tractor! Now let's try it! Wow, you're doing great! You're such an artist, Groovy! Time to paint! My favorite part! We paint the tractor with the color red! What can we paint with the green? That's it! The treetop! <laughs> Anything else? Yes! The grass! <gasps> oh no! We've run out of green! Ah. Don't worry, Groovy! You can mix yellow and blue! <laughs> Trust me! You take yellow and blue and mix it really, really well! Ah. And there you have it! Green! It's like magic! <coughs> wow! <coughs> it's beautiful, Groovy! Wow! Those fresh fruit ice creams look really good! Delicious! Mmm, <coughs> Phoebe's ice cream has two strawberry balls and Groovy's one, two, three, four, Five balls of different fruit! So greedy! Be careful, Groovy! Oh, too bad! <laughs> Groovy, it's not the wave's fault! Groovy, that's Phoebe's ice cream! She has to decide if she wants to share it with you or not! Very good, Phoebe. You should always share with your friends. Now you can both enjoy your fresh and healthy ice cream. Mmm. Nom. And now, keep enjoying the beach with friends. What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Ah, 
How awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container. Green bottles inside the green container. Blue bottles inside the blue container. And red ones inside the red container. Come on, children. Let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids! Oh, a giant wave! What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know, Groovy can help us. What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful. Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea. Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container. What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. Groovy, little 
by little. If you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it! It's a mermaid! Let's follow her, kids! She's gone in there! Where is she gone? There she is! Poor thing! She's crying! Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine! Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. What a beautiful day for sports! Ha <laughs> Pops, you look great to play basketball. I just hope nobody confuses you with the ball. Groovy! I think they want you to play with them. He says you have to go there and play with the girls. That basketball is for boys. Pops, 
That's not very nice. Although that boy deserved it a little. Should we explain to everyone why what that child did is wrong? Although some sports have traditionally been considered to be for boys and others for girls, the truth is we can all play whatever sport we want, regardless of our gender. The only rule is to have fun. That's a good idea, Phoebe. Ask the girls if they'd like to play basketball, too. Pay attention, boys. Girls also want to play basketball. Let's all play a game together. All right, let's see. We need a referee. Perfect. Pops will be our referee. Great. Oh, we're missing something to whistle the fouls. Groovy, could you help us? Children, what should Groovy transform into to help Pops to referee the match? A mixer? A whistle? Or a crown? Yes, a whistle! All right. What a thrill, the match is about to begin. The team to make the first three baskets wins. Understood? Ball for Phoebe, who passes it to Katie. Katie to Sarah. She makes a basket. All right, girls. Eric takes it out, passes the ball to James, James to Victor, and a basket for the kids. The game is on fire. There's a tie. The girls take out. Phoebe has the ball and throws it. What a basket! Spectacular! The boys take out. Ball for Eric. Phoebe takes it off. Foul! Eric commits a foul! Phoebe now has a chance to win the game. Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. Phoebe gets ready to shoot. Moments of maximum concentration. Shoot and... Mark! The girls win the game. Bravo! Bye.
how much fun it is to play boys and girls together with any sport. Oh, you've scored so much, Groovy. <laughs> Plastic cup here to do 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 to in plastic bin. Bottles here to do 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 to do bottles here to do 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 to do bottles here to do 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 to in that glass bin. Newspapers here to do 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 to newspapers here to do 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 to newspapers here to do 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 to in paper bin. Let's recycle do 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 to do. Let's recycle do 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 to do. Let's recycle do 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 to do. Let's recycle. The 
glass things go in the glass trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. The glass things go in the glass trash bin. Let's recycle the trash. Thanks to the kids. The beach is not clean, yes, thanks to the kids. We've recycled the trash. We've recycled the trash.